Hello, my wonderful friends. It's time once more for another story. A fantastical tale. A thing from my subreddit. Let's let's do that. Let's read that. This is from Reddit user Phantom Flower. I remember you. This is Mr. Roleplay. Or how I creeped out a creeper using horror trivia. I have no idea where this is going to go. Let's just go with it. Hello, Moon Horse. Hello. And the Moon Cult. How have you guys been? I mean, I'm alright. I come back to you with yet another story of an encounter from the art community that is DeviantArt. Oh boy, here we go. When I shared the Psy the Fluid Guy story with you, I made a comment on how I only dealt with a small handful of weirdos and toxic users. Well, ever since then, that number has doubled. I mean, it's deviant art. I kind of expected it. A lot are memorable, but don't have enough substance to warrant their own story. I might compile those into one post and share it all with you later. But right now, I need, I want, to share the story of this recent weirdo I have encountered with my favorite space unicorn. Oh, you're too kind. This is the story of Mr. Roleplay. So I'm an avid DeviantArt artist on the site. I go on every day whether or not I have art to upload, mostly to browse and check my notifications. If one of my friends is on, I'll chat with them. That day I had work, so I had to browse in the evening. I remember logging on the moment I got home and noticed that I had received a message. At first I thought it was my friend who always messages me whenever he wants a commission from me. To my surprise, it was someone I did not recognize or was on my watch list. This, my friends, is Mr. Roleplay. The conversation starts off okay. He said hi, I say hi in return. The next message was him asking if I do roleplay. I've been asked this question before, and I didn't really see anything wrong with it, but something was screaming at me. Perhaps it was paranoia due to my previous experiences with Mr. Draw inside the fluid guy. Maybe curiosity of the possibility of making a new friend slash customer. Either way, I went onto Mr. Roleplay's profile to snoop. It might sound bad, maybe creepy, but doing this twice before, I did avoid getting involved with an art thief. That's a good idea. Always check backgrounds. Anyway, my first instinct was to go to the comments section of his profile. He didn't even bother to cover up the mess that was in his comments. There were various complaints and downright vicious comments lashing out on Mr. Roleplay on how he initiates and pushes for very, very NSFW roleplay sessions with random users. One of the profiles I clicked, who is one of the comments, was one of a profile of someone who is underage. Oh, how classy. Well, with that information, and with everyone on his profile saying they reported him, I don't know if that's true or not, I was left with a creeper who was in my messages. I couldn't just leave it alone, but I didn't want to report him, at least not yet. I had decided not to mess with him a bit. Oh, yeah, I roleplay, but only certain types of roleplay. Oh, well, well, what kind of roleplay? I like romance roleplay, a little heart. No, that's not it for me. I'm only into a certain type of thing. Oh, what kind are you into, winky face? Horror, of course, little heart. There's a long pause, and he replies with, Oh? A little background on me. I'm a nerd, a well-rounded nerd. But one topic I am well acquainted with is horror. You name a horror movie, and there's a 99.8% .8 chance that I've heard of it and or seen it. If you were to talk to me about horror, I guarantee that I will talk your ear off. And I used my knowledge of horror to do exactly that. I tried to be as obnoxious as possible when geeking out. Oh yeah, horror's the best genre of anything. It's so interesting and so much fun. Well, really, I think romance is more fun. Romance fun? <laughs> romance is dead. Horror is in. How can you even say that? And the rest of my conversation, I'm going to cut down because I was throwing out tons of horror trivia left and right, but there's a few examples of horror trivia to show how noxious I was to Mr. Roleplay. Also, I really do believe that these are pretty fun facts. 
Uh, George Romero, the godfather of the zombie genre, actually had a script to direct an adaptation of Resident Evil. I did know that, actually. Uh, the Exorcist had potential of becoming a psychological thriller, then a straight-up possession thriller, while tracking a serious subject matter that we can all get behind on. Mary Shelley kept her husband's heart in her desk. Psycho is the first American film to feature a toilet. That's also true. The famous autopsy scene from John Carpenter's The Thing used an actual amputee for the slaughter. And many, many, many more fun facts. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Roleplay was responding less and less, and eventually used one-word answers. Uh-huh, yeah, okay, that's cool. That was about all I got. So I decided to go out with a bang. Oh, you mean that kind of roleplay. Something like this, right? At the time, I started sending movie clips from certain horror movies. Not just clips from any horror movie. The more vile, goryous, and cringe-inducing scenes. And I spammed his message inbox with it. How vile do we get? Well, there's a scene from the movie Hostel 2, I already know where this is going, where a man gets something cut off and fed to attack dogs. Spoiler, sorry. Well, that was the tamest thing I sent to him. I imagine there's probably a lot of clips of a Serbian film in there somewhere. No, that's not what I mean! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you meant this! And I just kept sending him clips, each one getting progressively worse. It only ended when Mr. Roleplay stopped replying. Only then I reported and blocked him. I don't know if I handled this the way I should have handled it, but just once, in my own way, I wanted to mess with someone like Mr. Roleplay on behalf of everyone. He or someone like him have made people uncomfortable. Thank you all for reading, and have a wonderful day. Oh my goodness. That's actually just a wonderful, wonderful thing. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten weirdo creep messages when I'm on different services. I don't usually get a lot because I don't use a lot of uh, I don't use a lot of social media. I'm not big on social media, but I know several people who have to use things like that for business and they get messages from weirdos all the time. Sometimes it's scams, sometimes it's just weird dudes who decided that, you know, hey, this is LinkedIn, let me show you my wiener. Which is totally not what you should be doing on LinkedIn, my dude. But, yes, there have been many of those. I honestly need to do more videos reading stuff like that. I used to do a lot of them. The problem is it takes a while to compile that kind of stuff. You gotta find the good ones, you know what I'm saying? And I don't just want to go with, like, whatever the best is. Everybody does that. You gotta mine through and find some good stuff. And it takes a while. But, I definitely know the kind of guy you're talking about. And oh, oh yeah. Oh, there's a lot of those. Weirdos who just troll different sites looking for someone to indulge their weird fantasies. And all they do is RP colon 3. And they're just super, super nasty and obnoxious about it. So, being able to mess with them, I mean, this is something I should totally, as a YouTube personality, be like, no, no, that is, you should not do that, but, uh, you know, you should totally do that, it's really funny. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, like, I didn't say anything. I, I'm not encouraging anything, and except that I am. But I'm not, and you should not mess with people who, who send you horrible messages like that. Do it, and you should totally just ignore and block any weird pervert who sends you something weird screw with them and you know I'm, I'm not giving you mixed signals I'm being perfectly above industry guidelines burn down the industry destroy them all uh, I didn't say anything hi how are you doing <laughs> oh man this was a great story I I just I just imagine you sending him like clips from a uh, that, that scene from The Thing where the guy's head melts off. <laughs> or just all those wonderful things. Just Also, since we're going to talk horror movies, and I know you're going to hear this because this is your story, uh, The Poughkeepsie Tapes. One of my favorite horror movies. Because I don't... Supernatural things don't really scare me. Uh, Aliens was a great movie. Uh, Halloween was a great movie. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, was a really great movie. Things like that. Totally fine. But I don't think Xenomorphs are real, and Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers are not real. That's just not a thing. 
those, those things aren't real. Poughkeepsie Tapes, however, is doing its best to mimic what would happen if there was an actual serial killer doing actual things. Those are real, and that does freak me out. I like real movies. Like, real, real horror is the stuff that gets to me. The other stuff, eh, you know, not so much. Uh, I like spooky games can work because it's an interactive medium, which is the reason why I've said, like, Pyramid Head is really creepy, and some of the creatures that are in, like, Dusk really work, because it's like... It's not just that they're there and they're weird looking and sometimes they come at you weird. It's that you have so much agency and control over what's going on. Uh, with a movie, it's different, though. You don't actually have that agency. It's not really a thing. So, you know. And I also don't like jump things. It's the reason why I never like jump scares and stuff. It's the reason why I never really uh, played the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Like I know what they are, and that premise alone makes me just be like, eh, I'm not into it. So... Yeah, that's that. You know what? Comment your favorite horror movie. How about that? As well as whatever you want to comment. But also tell me your favorite horror movie. I should watch more movies and talk about them. I might do that. Either way, this is a great story. You're all wonderful people. I love you all so very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check out my Ko fi and my merch store. Specifically, check out the Ko fi because I will be putting new goals there soon. And we might be starting a little contest for something going on there. I'm not going to spoil exactly what it is. I kind of already did in other videos, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know more specifics as, as they happen. And if you have your own story or anything you want to send me, I have a subreddit, r slash moonhorse stories. And there's a live stream every Saturday where we just talk about whatever and do stuff. Sometimes we, you know, watch weird videos. Sometimes we play games. It's, it's whatever. It's pretty chill. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.